What's up you guys, it's Henry. Today I'm going over my top stock list for August 2020. Make sure you watch all the way through for my full analysis of these companies. I'll go over a high level overview of what these stocks do, what the stock has done in performance, and my opinion on them. Real quick, I just want to thank our very special video sponsor today, and that's called smashing the subscribe button and his cousin Big Mugga Stacks the like button. All right, first on my list is Apple. They just announced a four to one stock split, which makes it way lower in price and easier to buy a lot of shares of. They just reported earnings and it was a blowout quarter to say the least. There was product revenue growth despite you know what related store closures and stay at home orders during the third quarter. The revenues were massive beating expectations of $52.3 billion with a massive $59.7 billion. That's greater than 14% beat and I'm not surprised to see the stock pop over 10% on the news. So basically, if you want to be stupid rich, the billions Apple makes will definitely drive the stock higher over time. What I really want to mention that you guys should watch out for is that the iPhone 12 will be delayed and iPhone will not make so much money in September as it usually does. The iPhone delay is bad news now and in September. However, this creates a very big opportunity for holiday sales. So I wouldn't be surprised to just see Apple keep rising because either way, a couple months delay is not gonna stop the massive demand for the iPhone 12 later on this year. So these few things plus the Apple 4 to 1 stock split announcement has me very bullish for August. I just want to point out a few things about the stock's fundamentals. The market cap is now $1.842 trillion, which means that it is just 10% away from being at the $2 trillion mark. I think Apple will be the first company to reach this milestone of $2 trillion. The year-to-date chart also looks nasty, and I mean that in a good way. Next on my buy list is Lemonade. Lemonade mostly offers renters and homeowner insurance, but also does pet health insurance in the United States. It's powered by artificial intelligence and has bots that can sign you up on the app. I love that they use machine learning and aim for zero paperwork. I actually signed up for renters insurance and everything was pretty much instant. You guys know I like speed. I have more money than I have time, so I really appreciate how fast the app does everything and even has a social impact component to it. They allow you to donate to a favorite cause with some of the money that they don't pay out. Jumping to the numbers, the stock has really pulled back some. Looking at the 52 week range, it shot up as high as 96.51 per share and now hovers at $58. This company's app really takes advantage of a lot of millennial trends such as a technology first and no paperwork approach solution to insurance. Not to mention a lot of millennials are renting because they can't afford to buy. The market cap on this one is just a smidge over $3 billion. There are only two analyst price targets for this stock and the average price target is $67.5 per share. I would say if you have high quality companies like Apple and the other companies I am going to mention, then this could be a good addition to a higher risk and high return part of your portfolio. So next on my list is BOFA. Both of these nuts. <laughs> I really like Bank of America because Warren Buffett lifted his Bank of America stake to 1 billion shares. The bank is pretty solid when it comes to earnings with an EPS of over $2 per share. I also really like how the price to earnings ratio is under 12. Just to put Apple in comparison, it's over 30. So financials, especially banks, are very cheap. The dividend on a lot of banks is also very high, which makes it a great addition to a dividend portfolio. The yield on Bank of America is 2.9%, and taking a look at the one-year price target, it seems like we can expect about 20% upside to the current price levels. If you guys watch some of my other videos, banks are the perfect stocks to sell covered calls on because they already have a high... Hi, hi, Henry, hi. Uh, a high interest, not a... If you guys watch some of my other videos, banks are the perfect stocks to sell covered calls on because they already have a high yield and a lot of safety. So if you can collect some extra stacks, stacks on these stonks, you will make some good bread. Did that sentence make any sense? I bet. Quick fist pump though before I move on. Next, I'm keeping a look out for Virgin Galactic. They had a cabin reveal which looked pretty sick. The leadership that is supporting Virgin Galactic has proven itself time and again, and I love the new CEO, Michael Glazier, that is stepping in from Disney. 
I also want to point out that two billionaires, Richard Branson and oh boy, not an easy name to pronounce, but the legend himself, Chamath Palapataya, I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> I am comfortable taking the leap of faith, risking money alongside them. However, I keep that position to under 7% of my portfolio. I specifically called a short squeeze on this stock in my prior videos, and I'm still holding on to this one with a positive outlook. I think it's just a matter of time till we get Sir Richard Branson up to space himself. Since the company doesn't have much income to report, there's no sense of assessing its value. Investors just have to take a long-term vision and be able to wait out for this one to really launch to the moon. I don't know about waiting to buy in because they're just one piece of news away from really doubling and I have no idea how to predict that piece of information. Growth stocks are hard to evaluate, especially ones without significant revenue. Virgin Galactic basically has some pre-orders but has not launched commercial operations yet. So when it comes to this one, I recommend practicing risk management. And Henry, what is risk management, boss? I didn't work at Goldman Sachs or no hedge fund, so why don't you explain what that is? Simply put, risk management is an approach you take not to lose all of your money. Using all of your money to buy calls, that's a bad idea. Using 10% of your money to diversify into 10 equally sized positions, that's next level stuff and it's good risk management practice. Now drop a comment for your top favorite stocks and if you wanna keep following my top picks in real time, take a look at my Patreon where I post layups weekly. Last but not least, the fifth stock on my list isn't quite a stock but instead an ETF that is investing in disruptive innovation and it does all the work for you. And this ETF is managed by Kathy Woods, a very intelligent fund manager on Wall Street, along with her team at ARK Invest. Their strategy, which I love, is focused on picking disruptive innovation, which just means companies that are doing something very unique in their market category. I've gotten the question a lot about which ARK fund to pick, and I'm gonna do a little overview quickly and tell you which one is my favorite. ARK K is my favorite because it brings the other funds together and invests into the best risk reward opportunities. This fund has over 50% returns in the past one year and its top holdings include Tesla, Square, Invita, and other genomic revolution companies. I think Kathy Woods really likes genomics because it's the future to treating and diagnosing diseases. Genomics is on an exponential cost reduction curve, so every single year it is getting cheaper and cheaper and easier to have a breakthrough research in the area of their studies. Kathy Woods thinks about business in a fantastic way and she invested in Tesla because of similar reasons to the genomic revolution. When it comes to renewable energy, Tesla is taking advantage of two really important trends. Number one, the need to shift to renewable energy for a sustainable future. And number two, the exponential cost reduction of electric batteries and technologies associated with electric batteries. Now taking a look at autonomous technology and robotics because I know a lot of subscribers have asked me about 3D printing and various automation technologies. For that reason, I do agree ArcQ is a fantastic investment. But just for the record, I love all of these ETFs and they have a very unique position in each of the ETFs themselves. I'm technically in the field of data analytics, so ArcW takes advantage of a lot of internet-based trends like e-commerce, cloud computing, and social platforms. If you guys want more detail, I have made a whole video discussing this ETF in deeper context. I will link in my description for you guys to watch if you'd like. I'm skipping the genomic ETF because ARKK has a lot of those companies in it and I am finishing off with ARKF. This one is my favorite because I worked in finance and I know the financial industry will be disrupted in the very near future. They function on very old technology, so companies like Square will really come in and take over payments. Bitcoin and blockchain technology will also have a big impact in this space because of the desire to track payments on a frictionless platform that's quick and easy to use. There is so much more that I like about this ETF, but I just want to give you a general overview of each for you guys to have your pick at what theme you like the most. Because to be honest, each ETF should perform well. There is no best one because past performance does not indicate future performance. For that reason, I wouldn't spin your head and dig too far into one. Instead, maybe spread your money into multiple picks and multiple ETFs that you really enjoy that Kathy Woods and her team manages for you. Anyways, I love you guys, and this channel is my number one priority. I've invested tons of time and money, and I just want to thank everyone for subscribing and liking the videos. 
It means a lot to me and the channel. I'm doing my very best to share the seven years of experience I have on Wall Street and Goldman Sachs with everyone. If you have any special requests or want to join my Discord, I will have a link in the description for that. And my Instagram handle is right here on the screen. You just have to do one more quick favor for me. And that's be aggressive in learning, but be safe in investing. Give me a fist bump. No one never sees me.